Hi, si Jerox ko ito. Gusto ko lang gumawa ng quick video tutorial para dito sa AMD APU Tuning Utility. Ipalag ko ito sa isang video ni ETA Prime kung saan pinakita niya na nagagawa ng tool na ito bigyan ng extra performance boost yung mga devices na gumagamit ng Ryzen mobile chipsets. So para sa video na ito, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano gamitin yung tool, saan ita-download, at kung paano siya i-set up. For this tutorial, ang gagamitin ko is yung Tibau MN25 Mini PC na binili ko last year. Since gumagamit siya ng Ryzen 2500U APU, titingnan natin kung makakapag-extract tayo ng additional performance gamit yung tool na to. Bagong lahat, disclaimer muna. I will not be liable to any damages that may occur from using this tool. Ginagamit ko lang din siya is from the developers. So please use it at your own risk. Una, ina-download natin ang tool sa GitHub. Ilalagay ko ang link sa description. Pero bago yan, ano ba ang AMD APU Tuning Utility? Basically, isa siyang lightweight Ryzen Master tool for laptops where you can control the power limits of your APU. So it works best on APUs starting at 2000 until 5000 series ng Ryzen Mobile chipsets. Meron din siyang additional performance options. Depende kung gusto nyo makatipid sa battery or get maximum performance. Since for this test, I'm using a mini PC that's plugged in directly sa power outlet, di concern yung battery life dito. To download, we can go to the release section of this page, and as of making of this video, latest version is 2.0.5.2. Click on Assets, and download the AATU zip file. Next, download the file to your desktop or your preferred directory, and then extract the files. Now if you want, you can create a shortcut of the tool to your desktop for easy access. Then start na natin yung application. Alright, so ito yung main screen ng tuning utility. Ang una natin gagawin dito is under pre-made presets. Dito, pipiliin kung ano ang APU ng system. And in my case, yung MN25 is using the Ryzen 2000 series APU. For the device presets, it's 2500U. Again, this will vary depending on the APU of your computer or laptop. So, ito yung presets niya. By default, it's using 25 watts for the power limit. The next thing na kailangan natin gawin is to import the presets. So, click import into custom, then go to custom presets. Now, we can see na na-import na yung default values dito. To save these values, lalagyan ko siya ng name as default, but you can change it to any name you want. So for this test, itatry ko taasan yung power limit to 35 watts. Dalagdalan ko yung APU TDP to 35, Long Fast Boost TDP to 35, Short Slow Boost TDP to 35 din. For the APU Temp Limit, you can change this to a lower value para ma-make sure na hindi mag-overheat yung CPU. But for this test, I'll keep it as is. For the power settings, since yung power supply ng mini PC ko maxes out at 65 watts, so I'll change this to 65. For memory settings, wala akong binago dito. Then, check the box for max performance. Before applying the changes, kailangan natin i-check yung mga settings na gusto natin i-apply sa APU. After checking the boxes, click Update Output, and then Apply Settings. After clicking Apply Settings, makikita nyo na yung pop-up sa lower right saying na settings are applied successfully. That means applied na yung adjusted power limits. To check if na pa yung power limits, you can use any hardware monitoring tools. In my case, ginagamit ko yung hardware info. Titingnan natin yung core and SOC consumption, which is now at 28 watts. Magrarun ako ngayon ng CPU Benchmark application, Prime95, para makita natin kung nagdagdagan yung power usage and see kung ano yung temps natin. So nakikita na natin ngayon na umabot na siya ng 31 watts. Nagtataka rin siguro kayo kung bakit hindi siya umabot ng 35 watts, kahit yun yung sinet ko sa tuning utility. I think dahil yung core at SOC power usage lang ang tinitingnan natin, 
and yung 35 watts is most likely for the overall power usage of the components? Not sure. Let me know kung may idea kayo kung bakit din. Anyway, important thing to watch out for is yung CPU temperatures. Dahil tinasal natin yung power limit, sigurado tataas din yung temperature ng CPU. So, while testing, keep an eye sa CPU temp nyo na hindi siya mag-reach ng high temps to avoid overheating. And adjust the power limit settings as necessary. Ngayon, susubuhan kong ibalik yung power limit niya back to 25 watts. So now, yung core at SOC power, nasa 21 watts lang yung maximum. At least yung temperature hindi sa pang taas. So I think kailangan ng balancing dito para makuha yung sweet spot. Kung saan may increase sa power limit, but at the same time, hindi aabos sa extremely high temperatures yung CPU. Your mileage may vary ka. Pwede nyo yung subukan palitan yung thermal paste kung magkakaroon ng improvement sa temperatures. Sinubukan kong palitan yung thermal paste nitong mini PC dahil pangit yung nilagay nila from the factory. Pero I think I still need to get a better one since mukhang sobrang taas pa rin ng temps ng CPU ko. Anyway, kapag okay ka na sa settings ng power limits, you can save it as a custom preset. For my case, I'll just name it as 35 watts. Then save preset. So ngayon, may option na ako to select the default and yung 35 watt modification kung gusto ko magkaroon ng performance increase. And for the benchmark, ikakabit ko yung mini PC sa capture card para makita natin yung actual frame rate improvement ng adjusted power limit compared to default. Okay, so andito na tayo sa first game. We're going to test Doom 2016 and ito, yung ating mga monitoring tools. So right now, we're running at 25 watts. So, nakikita nyo dito, 21.5 watts yung CPU core and SOC natin. So yan, we're still at 25 watts. So check natin kung ilan yung frame rate ni Doom. Okay, para sa settings, ang video settings natin for resolution, we're running at 720p, EAA 1X, advanced, so overall quality is set to high. So for the frame rates, we're getting 30, 33, average mga 30 FPS. So yan. Okay, so yun. 35 shots in the Okay, subukan naman natin taasan yung preset natin to 35 watts. Okay. So, yun, kitang kita natin by increasing the power limit to 35 watts, Ngayon, nasa 38 FPS na tayo. At kumabot na siya ngayon ng 40, 50 FPS. So, dito, ito natin, kumapatak na ng 31 watts yung core CPU at SOC. seeing 45, 46 so yun may malaking performance boost tayo so parang nadagdag almost 20 FPS buwakan lang natin bumalik sa 25 25 watts tingnan natin kung yan so Going back to the 25 watts, nangita natin na sa mga on this particular area na sa mga 35 FPS tayo using the default power limit. Asan natin mo rin? So from Nakita nyo kanina, from 35 FPS, ngayon, umabot na siya ng 50. So, 
So I think Laki advantage talaga nitong tool na to So without uh, doing additional upgrades You can same power limits And you can enjoy extra performance Sa hardware nyo Ang um, kailangan nyo lang talaga I-monitor dito is yung uh, CPU temperature So as you can see Nasa 89 degrees na tayo Dito tayo sa dangerous levels of getting to 90 degrees so yun yung kailangan natin bantayan so we may have to use additional cooling so kung meron kayong mga laptop coolers na pwede nyo uh, i-set up sa mini PC nyo so I think that will also help improve the temperature or at least uh, lower it to safe levels so yun, may 90 degrees na siya Alright, so next game, subukan natin yung Days Gone. So, andito na tayo sa next game test natin, Days Gone. So, as we can see, uh, we are currently at 23 FPS. So, first level pa lang tayo ng game. And uh, we're running at uh, default 25 watts, so yun 23 to 24 FPS. So as we can see here, uh, 21 FPS. You, I'm oh, sorry, uh, 21. So 21 watts tayo ngayon. And susubukan natin. Tasa yung power limit to 35 watts and see kung ilan yung magiging boost natin. Alright, so from 23, we're now at least reaching 30, well, 29 to 30 FPS. Yeah. So I think uh, at least ngayon playable na yung, yung game compared before or if you're running at 25 watts hey hey wait wait so this game we're hitting hold on, hold on. the 30 fps minimum Shit. all right let me see mostly 30 fps um settings for this game so we are running at 720p and graphics then is of course set to low well, um, medyo mabigat tong game na to. So, it's still amazing that it's actually running on an old um, Ryzen 2nd gen APU. Where the hell's he going? There isn't shit out of here but a bunch of freaks. Maybe I was wrong about him having a deal with Copeland. No, Leon's been fencing shit to Copeland for a long time. I finally caught up with him. So, there you have it. I think uh, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope na may natutunan kayo and hopefully makatulong din tong utility na to sa mga laptops or mini pieces nyo that's still running the, the older generation of Ryzen APUs. Thank you guys for watching and uh, see you in the next video.